So the first solution concept I want to talk about is the max min strategy uh, for games, uh, normal form games. And uh, first I want to talk about the word strategy. So to solve a game like this one, what you do is you find a strategy for all the players, right? So the word strategy in this case uh, just simply means an action. Right? You know, in the real world, uh, it's a more complicated thing. But for us, right now, a strategy is only an action. So like, for example, C. So Bob can take action C. Now we need strategies for all players. So that is a solution. The solution to a game has to have a strategy for all players. So we would need something like, you know, A and C. Say Alice takes A and Bob takes C. That is the solution for this game. Now, to be more precise, this is actually just a pure strategy. There's this other thing called a mix strategy, uh, which is basically the same thing, but we have a probability applied over the action. So we could say that like, this is a mix strategy, one half, one half. So that means, let's say this is Bob's strategy. So that means that Bob takes action C with one half probability or D with one half probability. Or in other words, Bob flips the coin. If it comes out ahead, he does C. If it comes up tails, he does D. Uh, now Bob has to have a coin. He can't cheat because it doesn't really work out if he cheats. So this has to be like truly random. Okay. So mostly we're going to be talking about pure strategies. Uh, well, both of them really. It, the same things apply to both of them. They're very similar things. Uh, okay. So the max min strategy is mathematically written as such. We say, let's say I and J are agents, say Alice and Bob. And then we say that the I strategy, the strategy for agent I is the maximum over S sub I over the minimum over S of J, J is the other players, uh, over the utility that agent I gets if they play those as I as J. So that's an I as a J. So this is a little bit hard, you know, when you express it mathematically like that, you know, to visualize, but it's really a simple idea. All it's saying is like, let's do Alice. So Alice wants to calculate her max min strategy. I'm going to switch to green here. Uh, so she's going to say, well, basically she's trying to figure out uh, for each of my possible actions, what is the minimum uh, that I could get if I played A. So if I played A, I'm going to look at, if I play A, Bob can either play C or D, right? So I'm either going to get one or four. So my minimum, if I play A, is going to be one. If I play B, says Alice, or thinks Alice, uh, then I'm going to either get three or two. What is the minimum? The minimum is two, between three and two, so the minimum for B is two. And so then I'm going to pick the maximum of A and B, and the maximum of one and two. So I'm going to say my strategy, my mixed man strategy, is uh, two. I'm sorry, B. B, because that's going to guarantee me a payoff of two. So that's the idea be behind the maxman. It's like, you know, the agents are really uh, risk averse. Or, you know, they, are, they just want to guarantee their minimum payment. Now, let's say Bob does the same thing. Let's see how that works. So if Bob does the same thing, he's like, okay, well, if I play C, I'm going to get a two or two. Oh, that's a tie. Uh, so they're both minimum there. Uh, it's two. If I play D, I'm either going to get three or four. So the minimum of that is three. So clearly, I should play D, right? So it's like two versus three, the maximum is D, right? So as of Bob, the max min strategy for Bob is D. So the max min strategy for this game would be B, D, like that. Uh, so that's that's it, you know, it's pretty fairly easy to calculate, you know, you can find this in any game. Um, there, uh, one of the things they showed is, uh, Boy Neumann and Morgenstern, is that every two-person game has uh, a max-min strategy. So we can find that for every two-person game, uh, it will exist. Now, one problem though, so we can say it exists for two players. One problem with it though is that it uh you know like you can look at this example is b and d right so alice is gonna play b and bob's gonna play d so they're gonna be playing you know getting two and four each you know kind of good for bob um not so good for alice but uh you can see if alice then knows uh alice is thinking oh you know bob he's definitely a max min kind of guy uh so you know bob is max min 
Uh, so Alice is like, clearly, if he's max min, he's going to choose D, right? So if he chooses D, that means I can clearly choose A because I'm going to get 4 if I choose A and uh, not B. So it's uh, not stable, is what we say. It's not a stable strategy. Like in this case, max min tells us they're going to play this. But if they're going to play this, Alice uh, is going to want to diverge from that because she's going to be like, eh, wait a minute, I can get more by playing A. Uh, so not stable, and which is uh, in practice a big problem. So that's the max min strategy.